actually brings me on to another aspect that I wanted to discuss with you, Eric. We had a, a blog sent in from one of our Twitter followers during the week, and it was a great read, so it was. It touched on the goalkeeper's mindset when it comes to command in their area. Maybe some goalkeepers have a lack of confidence. Do you have any practices that can maybe improve a goalkeeper's confidence when it comes to commanding their area? Yeah, I would basically say to goalkeepers at a younger age, by taking the aggressive start position, very quickly then put a vision, so have some form of image in your mind of you coming and taking the cross. What I've always tried to do is turn the psychology around. A lot of go do goalkeepers that you deal with, if you ask them, are they waiting to see what the crosser does with the ball? Or are you in your mind saying, I am looking to deal with this cross? Mm -hmm. Then your decision would be keepers or away or let the defenders deal with it. A lot of the time, goalkeepers are reactive. What you have to do is change the mindset and say, by being aggressive, by commanding yourself in terms of the area, by demanding of your defenders. So there's two aspects. You're going to demand of your defenders that you want that space to work in. Once you establish that, that will give you more confidence. But have the mindset to say that when the ball's in a wide area, I'm looking to deal here, not waiting to see what the cross does. So that sometimes is a session where you're actually going to say to them, visualize. You might be able to get a video showing where the first start position was. Look where you were on your second, more aggressive. What did that do to you mentally? Oh, I'm coming for that ball. That's something that I worked on with a lot of younger goalkeepers. I did a lot of work with Lee Grant on that when I went back to Derby with Steve McLaren. And if you watch him now, you watch how aggressive he can be. And it comes from starting position, that gives him confidence. It then comes from doing the practice with defenders. It comes from doing repetitive practice where defenders actually, the teammates, see the goalkeeper prepared to come and catch, come and punch. So that's a confidence building. Then you show the video saying, look where you were, where you started two weeks ago. Look where you are now. So I keep saying to the Nexus coaches, there's nothing wrong if you can get the right permission to video sessions, especially when you start to deal with crosses. See where they are in the start position. Then go away and say to them, shut your eyes. Visualize where would you be when the ball's delivered from there. Show them on a tactics board and see where they say. Then we'll say, when we go out, I want you to try coming two yards, three yards. And then I want you to have the mindset to say, I'm coming to deal with this. I'm not going to wait. And that's what a lot of goalkeepers don't do in the mindset. They're actually waiting to be reactive. We've got to make them more proactive. So get them to say, right, aggressive start. I'm going to come and deal with this. And it works. But it takes time. And it takes patience. And it takes planning. And it takes working individually with the goalkeeper on and off the field. And this is the one big area. We can all improve footwork, technical. We can all improve the tactical side. This is the one area that makes the good the great. The ability to come and deal with that ball. And it's, a, it's an area that you should be building to within your practices during the week. So, like I've said before, the planning, the preparation, are we all doing little bits of distribution? Or do we just spend, academy sometimes just do blocks, six week blocks? I think crossing you've got to do, when you get to that age, 11 onwards, you should be doing some form of crossing work, 15, 20 minutes every week. That's some great advice there, Eric. We should be making our goalkeepers more proactive. I absolutely love that. Thank you.